Bonjour, je m'appelle Charlie. Hey y'all, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, like I said, my name is Charlie and I am a Boston-based flight attendant for a major US airline. So, I am extremely tired. I just closed out the last vlog, which was my birthday vlog, where I did a two-day trip. I went to Austin, Texas. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it after you watch this one. But as for today's video, I'm getting ready to go to Paris very exciting i have actually never been to paris before which is really exciting and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am trying to drop this trip it is 3 44 and they have until four o'clock to pick it up from me you guys i am so tired <laughs> i understand now why they make us wait 24 hours before working an international trip but since i picked up this trip it wasn't originally on my schedule i waived that right <sighs> you guys i'm so tired but I have lots planned for Paris. Will I get it all accomplished? Absolutely not, because I never do on these layovers. And I only have 24 hours there. But I'm not gonna overwork myself trying to get everything done on my bucket list. I'm sure I'll have plenty more times that I can go to Paris and get it done. But I am excited. It is going to be fun, but I also wanna like chill while I'm there too. So aircraft information. So we are going to be taking the Airbus 330 not my favorite wide body i love the 767 i like boeings on my international trips on my domestics i like airbus but ugh. i hate the galley in the airbus 330 if you know you know if you don't i'm sorry i wish i could find a picture or i wish i could show y'all stuff on the plane but of course i cannot or i'll lose my job so <laughs> hopefully i can find some pictures of it online but it's super duper small speaking of the galley I am the most junior person on this crew, <sighs> so I am more than likely going to be international galley person. I am not a galley queen. I'm not a domestic galley queen, so I'm definitely not an international galley queen. Y'all saw that I worked my butt off to get out of it when I went to Portugal, but today I might be stuck with it. There was one other girl who was trying to drop the trip, um, and she did. She actually just called in. She called in sick. So they might be replacing her with someone on standby. And if they replace her with someone on standby, they might be junior to me. So then I can stick them in the galley if I don't want it, which sucks, but I'd, I'd do it. <gasps> yes. <laughs> okay, there's someone more junior to me on this trip now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they must've just graduated. I didn't even know the seniority number was on the line yet. I'm good. <laughs> I'm sticking them in the galley. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I kind of do want to work first class though. Don't want to work first class galley. First class aisle specifically. But we have like a seven hour flight. Once again, I'll put all the information right here. And let's go to Paris. Hey guys, I am in Paris. Oh my goodness, I am so exhausted. That flight, it was like a little over six hours, maybe 6.20, but we had to wait at the airport. Unfortunately, there was a tragedy. Um, one of the ladies who was actually on our flight, coincidentally, she fell down the escalator and it was awful, you guys. Like y'all know I used to work in an emergency department and it was, it was bad, it was, I don't want to get into details, but it was awful. So definitely, definitely, definitely in my thoughts and prayers. She was conscious by the time that we got out of the airport. <sighs> so then we had to wait for our shuttle. The bus from the airport to the hotel is supposed to take about 20 to 30 minutes. It took an hour and 30 minutes. And by the time I woke up, because I didn't realize it took that long, because your girl knocked out on the bus because transportation makes me sleepy. And when we finally got to the hotel, our rooms weren't even ready. Think I might take a quick little nap. I might just go ahead and hit it, you guys. I don't know. I don't want us to waste the day away. It's already so much later than I thought it was gonna be. Now it's almost 11, so. For this layover, I think I wanna chill by myself. I don't wanna do too much with the crew. I feel like I did that in Portugal and I regretted it. And I did it a little in, um, where was I last? Amsterdam. And that had some of its faults too. I couldn't really do some of the things that I wanted to do. So today I'm going to do all the things that I want to do. Here's a list of the things that I want to do. <laughs> and get as much of it done as possible. At, try to find me some street food. They have really good crepes just like out and about in Paris. Which I'm here for. And yeah. Go explore. I'm ready to go shopping. I'm going to buy some, um, I don't know, French stuff. 
bread and snails. I don't, <laughs> you guys, I'm going to start crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick little nap, a little 30 minute, 45 minute nap. Get ready. Y'all already know anytime I have an international layover that I'm prepared for, I have a cute outfit planned. You're gonna love it. I gotta give you the hotel room tour. <gasps> I didn't check for bugs and bugs. There could be a large bed bug watching me or either some large man. This room is tiny. I don't think a large man's gonna fit in here. I'm gonna check for bugs and thugs and then I'm gonna give y'all a room tour. Room's pretty small, so I'm gonna do this really fast. This is the whole entire room. It's kind of like the one in, where were we? Da, 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 da. London, where it's actually the exact same size and layout. Then in the bathroom. Ooh. Nice sink. Really deep tub. And the little water closet for the toilet. Let's see if we're working with the view. I actually already looked at it, so I know we're really not. This petty. I wanted to tell y'all a little bit more about my flight while I am getting ready. I was working in first class, which I'm starting to like first class, you guys. I don't like first class domestic. I still stand by that. But international first class, I really like being in the aisle and like talking with the passengers. They're so appreciative. I kind of like how bougie it is up there. Like they do have this sort of sense of entitlement up there but i kind of appreciate it oh. also maybe it's because i know like how much they're paying i kind of feel like okay well you deserve to keep bothering me about something completely stupid you paid twelve thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars like okay sure yeah i mean get a private jet at this point but whatever it's really fun being up there and they are really I would say they are also really appreciative I haven't had any straight up rude like classless people up there in first class I don't know is it because they're bougie or not or maybe it's because like they're used to it so they know what to expect but that's another thing those first class passengers they will keep you in check because they know more about first class than I do which I'm cool with that too so I went to clean someone's tray I grabbed the tray and then I told her she could plop the linen on top and I would take it to the galley, you know, get it out of her way so she can get comfortable and go to sleep. And she was like, actually, can I leave it out so when you bring out the dessert, you can place it on here? And I got flashbacks from training when we learned that's exactly what we're supposed to do. So, like, they, they know what's going on up there. They're not going to let me do anything wrong. Another thing, what is this on my face? I keep seeing it and then I don't, so it must be glitter. Another thing is, I, I saw it again. <laughs> another thing is I got to collect um, donations for breast cancer um, research so that was really really cool um, they let me and this other girl that was in first class do the collecting because we both have people in our family that are um, battling or survivors so that was really fun it was really an honor I got actually emotional when I was out in the aisle because they weren't just um, donating they were like telling their stories and saying like how much it means to them and stuff like that so it definitely definitely made me emotional and y'all already know i'm a cry baby so i'm gonna pop my lashes on and do a lip and wrap this up because i'm going in and out of focus and y'all can't see me get ready anyways but um all in all it was a really good flight nice passengers super duper nice they a lot of them donated which was amazing um i got crew rest which was short it was like an hour and like 15 minutes which is very short but i got a lot of sleep on the shuttle on the way back from the airport which is why i think i'm like ready to go now like i don't want to sit around any longer it's already past 12 o'clock like i have so much stuff planned this is the itinerary for today i'm so excited ah, let's go i will check in with you guys after i finish getting myself ready oh please ignore all these weird light things but i am all ready to go oh my beret I'm all ready. So this is the fit. Got my beret, my little two-piece set. I look like a GTA prostitute, but like make it Parisian. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are almost at our first stop of the day, the Arc de Triomphe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Arc de Triomphe. This thing is massive. It's 162 feet tall, 150 feet wide, and took 30 years to build 
It was commissioned by Napoleon in memory of all of the victories of the French army. Now I'm going to take some pictures from the other side. The lighting was pretty bad on that side, so hopefully I'll be able to get some really good pictures over here. Why is crew scheduling calling me? I'm not answering because I don't have to. Because why would crew scheduling be calling me while I'm on a layover? This cute little shop that you see me entering now is La Dure Paris. It is a upscale bakery specializing in their French macarons, but they have lots and lots of sweet treats. The location that I went to is right there on the Champs-Élysées. Okay, I just got my macarons. These are supposed to be the best macarons in Paris. So I'm really, really excited about trying them. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely delicious and for that price, I hope they will be. I have so many different flavors. I wish I could just like share them with y'all through the screen. So now we are headed to the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna take some more pictures. We're gonna eat these. Depending on where I'm going to get a meal, I might not go to the Louvre. Honestly, I'm getting a little tired. I'm starting to lose that second wind that I caught. So you guys, I'm sure you know what this is. This is the Eiffel Tower. It is one of the world's most recognizable attractions. So there's so many people and so much construction, which I'm sure you can hear, that there's not really a good place to take any pictures around here. So I might just have to wait till I come back. Honestly, the Eiffel Tower is being like worked on as well. So from this angle, it's not even that cute. The Eiffel Tower is 1,083 feet tall and only took two years to build. So I just got done taking some pictures with the Eiffel Tower, which is right there. And now I'm about to try one of these. That was probably one of the best sweets I've ever had in my whole entire life. Like that was really good. That one I just tried was the raspberry. You have to try it. Okay, you guys, I'm about to grab something quick to eat. I'm about to try some escargot for the very first time. Got some bread, champagne, escargot, and onion soup. Oh, it's going Okay, you guys, I actually had to abruptly end this vlog right here because my camera broke when I was waiting for the Eiffel Tower to light up, but it was absolutely beautiful. This is probably my favorite layover yet, so thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for flying with me, and have a blessed day.